Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. In a desperate attempt to match India's S-400 surface-to-air missile, Pakistan Army Index Chinese HQ-9 surface-to-air missile. Pakistan has also procured LOMATS LY-80 air defense system from China. LOMATS stands for Low to Medium Altitude Air Defense System. Pakistan has procured nine LOMATS systems, the delivery of which was completed in 2019. It is designed to neutralize aerial threats of low and medium altitudes. The LY-80 is export version of Chinese HQ-16A. It can intercept the aerial target for a maximum range of 40 km and altitude of 18 km. It has a kill probability of 85% for aircrafts and 60% for cruise missiles. Back in July, it was reported that Pakistan's Made in China LY-80 air defense system is not working since last two months. These air defense systems were deployed in nine different locations including Lahore, Bhawalpur, Gujranwala and has raised fear for another Balakot-like strike. Talking about the HQ-9, it is a Chinese copy of S-300. Depending on the version of HQ-9, it has a range from 200 to 300 kilometers and said to be effective against airborne threats such as UAVs, fighter planes and cruise or ballistic missiles with varying degree of success. However, the export variant of its missile are having less range, in fact 120 kilometers for the aircrafts. Also, these strategic assets won't be placed close to border, which means it will not have the ability to look much inside Indian airspace. At the same time, Indian S-400 will be capable of looking inside the 70-80% to 80 of Pakistan's airspace. The addition of HQ-9 will definitely add Pakistan air defense some tooth to bite, but the road ahead is not so rosy. HQ-9 is not cheap and Pakistan will need to buy at least 4 regiments and it may cost 3 billion US dollars. It is not easy to arrange given the Pakistan total defense budget is 8 billion US dollar and its currency is all time low. Pakistan will also have to spend 1 billion plus dollars in protecting the HQ-9 sites just like S-400 is protected by S-1 Pantsir. A similar system may be required to protect HQ-9 units. However, let's assume that the crippled Pakistani economy somehow arranges for $4 billion. Will Pakistan spend it completely on air defense? It will mean the change in the defense philosophy of Pakistan from posturing offensive to be defensive against India. It will also mean that they will have less money for GF-17 and 5th generation aircraft Pakistan is planning to develop with China. Therefore, it will be a foolish decision to buy these air defenses in large number. Now let's assume Pakistan arranged money and bought some units of HQ-9. It will surely deny India of air superiority during limited conflict. However, in a prolonged conflict, it may be difficult to sustain if Indian Air Force carries out seed missions of HQ-9 and saturate it with variety of targets. Now, you might say it's all imaginary, but let me give you a real-world example for the same. You all must be aware of the war of Armenia and Azerbaijan. The Azerbaijan's Azeri Harup lottering drone infiltrated and damaged an Armenian AD S-300 PMU-2 system from Russia. The Indian Air Force has been operating the much larger Harup lottering munition for over a decade. Recently, Indian Army has also ordered 100 Indo-Israeli Kamikaze drones called Sky Striker. Besides these, India can also use Brahmos missile in worst case to demolish any air defense of Pakistan. In summary, while Pakistan might go again gaga about its new HQ-9 surface defense system, it cannot deny Indian Air Force of the airspace for much longer.
This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.